Okay guys, today we are going to do a quick game of Timeline, the Music and Cinema Edition. So my husband is here with me, Daniel. He is all about the music. I am all about the movies. So let's see how this goes. All right. The trick with Timeline is to not accidentally see the cards in the backward face that says the number date on it of the Timeline. So we start, go? everybody gets four cards, right? Yes. Okay, you want to be on this side of the tape if you want anybody to see oh, it. Well. Are you keeping the private? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to. Just lay them down. You don't even have to hold your cards up. All right, where's our starter card? Who starts the timeline? Uh, Ghostbusters. Looks like it's going to start our timeline. And you'll see this side has no year on it, but this side does. So that this was one I knew. So. 1984. All right, we gotta put it to be honest here. Is oh man, these are all from the 80s. So now I'm not really sure which is which. Um, um, I'm gonna go, do. I have to draw or anything on my turn? No. Okay. Well, you want me to lay it out? Okay. So you've got your card here. This is our starter card. Mm -hmm. Everything to this side of it. It'll be 85, 86, 2000, whatever. All the way up to present. Everything before it goes back to the beginning of time. 83 to, yeah, the beginning of music. The whole point is you don't have to know the exact date, but you do have to know if there was a card here that said like 1975, and you knew something happened between 1975 and 1984. Yeah, like, see, I've got Rambo and Conan the Barbarian, which I know are both 80s movies, but I'm not sure if they were before or after 84, so... Um, I assume I'm going first, so I'm going to go with Conan is before Ghostbusters. And I'm right! 1982. Alright, so now you're down to three cards. I have four. The object is to be the first person without them. Without cards. So, if you mess up and you put it in the wrong place, we put it in the right place and you get a fresh card off the stack. Alright, so good. Then I think that's simple enough. Let's, let's pound this out. Mm. I'm going to play it super safe and put One More Time by Daft Punk. That was 2001. Alright, Rambo. I feel like that was 1985, but I'm not positive and you're making a face at me. So I'm going to say over here. Oh! Whoa! Well, I wouldn't do that because if we get too far over, we're going to have to go like a second row. Okay, so now it's on you. All righty, let's see. Candle in the Wind. Now, are we talking the Princess Diana version or the original version? I'm going to put it before 1982. 1973. Well, yeah, he's got all that like original hair and crazy look, so of course it's the 70s. All right, um, I have no idea what Origin of Symmetry is. It says by Muse, so I assume that's music. I'm going to put it after 84. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, 2001! Oh, okay, so it's, it, it tied with that Punk. <laughs> that was very lucky because I had no idea what that was. All right, what do you got? Okay, we've got Message in a Bottle and The Bodyguard. Kevin Costner movie with Whitney Houston or... The police single. I'm going to do message in a bottle, and I'm. I may be wrong about this, but I think it's after 1984. Oh! 79. So that goes over here, and I get a fresh card, and it's Spice Girls. Oh no, it's Wannabe by the Spice. That's different. They had a whole long career. All right, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm pretty sure that's 85 to 88 era. So let's see if I was anywhere close to right. 74? What? Yeah. Oh, that's... What did I get? Oh, 2001 A Space. I know this one. I know this one. That's because you did my shirt. <laughs> if you want to be, if you want to be. Space Odyssey was 1963 or 4. 68. Okay, but I, still, I was still in the 60s. Oh. So I was still okay. I'm out of cards now. Yeah, you squeaked out a win. Oh, I just won. Woo! All right, well, since that was over so quickly, I'm going to show you guys really fast some of these other cards in here. Let me maybe stand up so I can see what you can see. 
All right, I just not want to focus today, this camera. Okay, it's trying, it's thinking about it. It's like, hmm. Yeah, it's a great game There's, for people who like history. Yeah, The Exorcist, The Magic Flute, Money for Nothing, Valkyrie, Love Me Tender. There's like all kinds of really cool different cards. Way of the Dragon, Psycho. My heart will go on. Oh my gosh, well, did anybody ever get enough Titanic? Star Wars, they've got all kinds of movies and all kinds of songs, and so that makes it like super neat as a game. I'm not going to go through all these because there's all sorts of different ones, but this is definitely a really fun game to pick up for yourself. As you see, we beat this game in like five minutes, so it doesn't take very long.